and then somehow you ended up out in California uh, in Santa Barbara, which we, we we have a practice in Aspen, and everyone's like, oh my gosh, I can't believe you have a practice in Aspen, but I think Santa Barbara may trump Aspen. Oh, yeah, I think so. I mean, it's, it's not even a competition. It's not a lousy yeah. place. It's yeah, not it's a bad not place a to be. Place. You, wake I mean, up, you wake up in the morning, and you're like, oh, life is so wonderful. Like you there's know? the ocean. There's birds coming yeah. by. People are smiling mm-hmm. and jogging. Sun is shining. Yeah, and everyone that lives in the East Coast is just miserable, and they just hate you for the fact that you have a practice in Santa Barbara. But you've made a name for yourself, a very talented surgeon. I know that. I came in contact with you through the uh, American Society of Plastic Surgeons. You were on the board. You were head of the Young Plastic Surgeons Organization, which is part of ASPS. Um, you were part of the mentor board, I think, at one point, uh, in terms of the implants. A very successful surgeon, 